Not everybody can sit in his office and look out at a scene like this. Not everybody can dock their sailboat in their backyard. Or live in a pleasant neighborhood less than 15 minutes drive from the office. The golf course. Fishing. The symphony. Or just a quiet walk in the woods. But the people of the Fox Cities can. Nina, Manasha, Appleton, and Kaukauna. The Fox Cities. Something special in Wisconsin. To me, there are many factors that define business success. The financial health and growth of the company are foremost, of course, because I'm paid to see that the business grows and prospers. But besides that, I have only so many years on this planet, and I intend to enjoy them. The Fox Cities give me the best of everything, a good business climate and a quality of life. Fox City's employers can readily find the skills they need. The reasons? First of all, the educational level in the area is high. Over 70% of the population has graduated from high school. 15% from college or post-secondary schools, both well above the national average. Second, the Fox Valley Technical Institute works closely with local industries to be certain educational programs are precisely what local business needs. Finally, People grow up in the Fox Valley and they stay here. There's no brain drain in the Fox Valley. But skills are one thing, productivity is another. I think the community itself is closer that affects productivity. Here in the Fox City, there's an attitude you can't find in many large metropolitan centers. It looks good. Our employees watched their grandparents and their parents work hard. They saw the satisfaction that comes from doing a good job. Our employees like that feeling of satisfaction that comes from hard work. I'm convinced that employees here in the Fox Cities are some of the best, most productive workers in the world. There are so many special things about the Fox Cities. The schools, for example. 88% of students graduate from high school. 40% go to college. Many attend the University of Wisconsin Center campus or Lawrence University. College entrance scores, best in the country. Area schools consistently exceed the national average and frequently exceed Wisconsin's average in measures of performance. Crime rates in the Fox Cities are far below the national average. Streets are clean and well-maintained. Parks are plentiful. State and local government is efficient and responsive. Tax money buys good value in Wisconsin. 150,000 people live in the Fox Cities. The area offers small city charms, friendliness, convenience, accessibility in a metropolitan setting. For example, four local hospitals offer a level of health care usually found only in much larger communities. A convenience clinic also provides immediate medical attention. The Fox Cities, metropolitan convenience in a manageable size. I suppose if you wanted Paris originals, you might be disappointed. But for quality and variety, whether it's clothing, furniture, or food, I've always been able to find what I wanted right here in the Fox Cities. I enjoy art and music, and when Badger Northland transferred my husband to the Fox Cities, I thought, well, so much for art and music. But I was surprised, pleasantly surprised. The Fox Cities area has an abundance of cultural attractions. Another thing that makes the Fox Cities special is Lawrence University. It's truly one of the outstanding liberal arts universities in the country and the university's impact on the community is considerable. My job involves stress. Physical activities, sports in particular, are a means to cope with stress. Sure, I love to watch, but more often than not, I'm a participant. That's what's nice about this area. I can play softball, tennis, golf, racquetball, 
in addition to fishing, canoeing, water skiing, snow skiing, which are all a short drive from my house. People around here know how to enjoy life. We live life, not just watch it. I travel extensively for business, most of it in the United States, some of it abroad. Airline service from the Fox cities to major connecting centers is excellent. Airline service for me is more convenient than many people living in larger cities who have to travel an hour or two just to get to the airport. The Fox cities are a short drive from some of Wisconsin's best known vacation land. Wapaka's Chain of Lakes is to the west and Door County is to the northeast. Our family enjoys spending time in Door County, which has a touch of New England about it, and it's less than two hours from the Fox Cities. If I want to watch professional sports, we have the Appleton Foxes, the Chicago White Sox affiliate, the Green Bay Packers in Green Bay, the Brewers and the Bucks in Milwaukee. We enjoy the variety of excellent restaurants and many cultural and recreational activities in the Fox Cities. We don't have time to take advantage of all the opportunities that exist in the Fox Cities, much less wish for more. The Fox Cities. Two hours drive from Milwaukee. A half hour from Green Bay. Minutes from relaxation. A great place to work and to operate a business. A great place to raise a family. Cities, something special in Wisconsin.